I remember a uh, robot vacuum we reviewed a long time ago. The uh, suction power was only 4,000 pa. Three years have passed and we have reviewed many robot vacuums since then. The uh, latest models now boast a maximum suction power of up to 18,000 pa, which is uh, 4.5 times that of uh, three years ago. The battle for suction power has been ongoing for many years, with a greater suction often being equated to stronger cleaning capability, a notion that many brands seem to emphasize to consumers. But is it really the case? Unfortunately, physics isn't that straightforward. How can uh, such a small robot generate such immense suction power? What factors truly influence cleaning performance? We try to answer these questions ourselves and we will share things we have learned and tell you here as simply as possible. By the end, I hope you will have a better understanding of robot vacuums. To understand the suction power, we first need to understand how it's created. As we learned at school, the air pressure in our environment is approximately one standard atmosphere or about 101 kpot. Now, okay. So this is the uh, formula. If you haven't learned this, no worries, now you know. So uh, imagine a pipe with a fan inside of it. When the fan extracts air from the pipe to the outside, the, the internal air pressure decreases. For example, let's say the pressure drops to 98 kPa. This pressure difference derives airflow pulling dust and debris along with it. So this is a simple physics. Now let's add some uh, components to turn this into a uh, robot vacuum. So first add a HEPA filter in front of the fan like this. Like so. Okay, and then enlarge the space in front of it. This becomes the uh, dustbin of the robot vacuum. Next, add a uh, roller brush. Next, add a roller brush at the intake of the system to lift the dust and debris. Then, the uh, formula again. Then, this is the formula to pressure difference. Clearly, 101 minus 98 equals to 3. The uh, 3 kPa pressure difference mentioned earlier is the uh, vacuum pressure of this uh, system, which is also the uh, suction power advertised by manufacturers. So theoretically, if you compare the uh, cleaning capabilities of uh, two robot vacuums, the one with a uh, stronger fan will move air faster, create a uh, greater pressure difference, and generate higher airflow, resulting in better cleaning performance. This is uh, correct. However, all scientific conclusions come with an implicit assumption that all other conditions remain the same. You probably notice the uh, core issues here. Apart from the difference in uh, fan performance between two robot vacuums, factors like the uh, design of the uh, air duct and the uh, cleaning efficiency of the uh, roller brush also play a role. This means we can't simply compare suction power numbers directly. To make it easier for you to understand, I've uh, prepared three simplified models in advance. Let's take uh, model two as the uh, standard. In model one, the intake is narrowed increasing air resistance. In model three, the fan is enhanced, meaning it has a greater airflow capacity. So comparing model two to model one, model one has a less flow and uh, So according to uh, Benoli's principle, we can derive a simplified formula. C is the flow coefficient, which remains unchanged within the uh, same system. Atmospheric pressure is also a constant. You can see as a uh, airflow decreases, vacuum pressure actually increases. Okay, this might sound a bit complicated, but even if you just look at the two images, you can clearly see the Model 2 has better dust suction capability than uh, Model 1, right? Now let's compare Model 2 to Model 3. I don't need to write out any formulas here. It's uh, obvious at a glance that the more powerful fan will deliver better cleaning performance. In this case, suction power is positively correlated with the cleaning effectiveness. Now, let's uh, briefly summarize these three models. 
Model 1, small airflow, weak fan, and the weakest cleaning performance. Model 2, large airflow, weak fan, and average cleaning performance. Model 3, large airflow, strong fan, and the best cleaning performance. So uh, from this, it's clear that uh, you can't judge a robot vacuum's cleaning capability solely based on suction power. So the formula CE equals Q plus P is key here. CE stands for cleaning efficiency. Q represents airflow. P represents vacuum pressure. So this is the uh, effective formula for determining whether a robot vacuum can perform well. Anyway, Ecovacs, as a leader in the robot vacuum industry, seems to have recognized this uh, principle early on. They said they no longer wanted to be in the uh, endless battle over suction power, and this is why the T50 Max was created. So based on the formula we just discussed, airflow and vacuum pressure are inversely proportional. This means that in a robot vacuum, it's uh, impossible to increase both values simultaneously. To improve cleaning efficiency, the T50 Max chose to maintain a reasonable vacuum pressure while focusing on boosting airflow. The vacuum pressure of this model is set at a 15 kPa, a value they determined to be optimal through laboratorial testing. To increase airflow, the solution was straightforward, enlarge the intake and put a powerful fan there. To avoid increasing noise, Ecovacs opted for a larger fan blade instead of increasing rotational speed. The new 100W high torque fan enables the T50 Max to deliver an airflow of 16.3 liters per second, while the 6400 million high capacity battery ensures sufficient power for the new fan. The EV grade pouch battery demonstrates enhanced stability and durability, boasting 2.4 times a longer lifespan compared to conventional models. The combination of this large capacity battery with a high torque motors, oversized air vents, large fan blades, and aerodynamically optimized air duct design collectively achieves exceptional airflow performance. According to Ecovacs data, this system can improve carpet dust removal efficiency by up to 80%. Ecovacs gave this high airflow system a simple yet fitting name, BLAST, which means boosted large airflow suction technology and the uh, T50 Max is the first robot vacuum to feature this innovative technology. Choosing a, a robot vacuum can indeed be a challenging task for consumers. Numbers like uh, suction power and mopping pressure can be manipulated to look impressively high, but they don't always tell the uh, full story. To pick a truly good robot vacuum, aside from uh, watching reviews by uh, YouTubers, a simpler approach is to opt for reliable, well-established brands like the uh, Ecovacs. These brands often have access to the latest, the uh, best technologies and are more transparent about the uh, industry truths. This video is sponsored by Ecovacs. They uh, approached us to create an uh, educational video explaining the uh, relationship between the suction power and the cleaning performance. And that's how this video came to be. If in the future everyone starts using uh, airflow and vacuum pressure to more accurately describe the uh, cleaning capability of their robot vacuums, Ecovacs will certainly deserve a share of the credit for leading the way. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel. I'm Will from China, and we'll see you next time.